our accountability, our duty, liability, obligation, dependability, our loyalty, and our faithfulness all are, consist of our responsibility. Till today's moments of inspiration is on responsibility. God's plan, no, excuse me, plan as if Christ's return is years away, but live as if he is coming today. Amen. Mm. Amen. God, prov God makes provision for our holiness, but he gives us the responsibility for using those provisions. Great trials are often necessary to prepare us for great responsibilities. <laughs> our responsibility is simply to make our witness faithful. It's God's responsibility alone to make it effective. God often entrusts us with a little to see what we could do with our lot. <laughs> the most important thought that should ever occupy our mind is that our individual responsibility to God. Amen. The greatest day in your life and mine is when we take total responsibility for our attitudes. Amen. That is the day we truly grow up. <laughs> and to take with us this week, ability is always the measure of responsibility. God has given us the ability to direct our lives, either according to intelligence and recognition to our obligation to God, or according to selfishness and unintelligence and the supreme seeking of our own happiness. Wow. Mm. Responsible people admit their wrongs. Mm. When David realized his sin, he took full responsibility, admitted he was wrong, and asked God to forgive him. Many people want to add God to the benefits of and the benefits of Christianity to their life without acknowledging their personal sin and guilt. But confession and repentance must come before receiving forgiveness. Like David, we must take full responsibility for our actions and confess them to God before we can expect him to forgive us and to continue to work in us. Though the parable of the talents was significant to every generation, the Lord was still speaking directly about the generation that was, will be living just before his return in glory, found in Matthew 24, 34. The exact time would not be known in advance, but the proximity of which will be manifested by the spectacular and unmistakable sign found in Matthew 24, 3 through 29. Responsible people are faithful with that which they have been given. The master divided the money among his servants according to their abilities. No one received more or less than he could handle. If he failed in his assignment, his excuse could not have been he was overwhelmed. Failure could come only from laziness or hatred toward the master. The talents represent any kind of resource we are given. God gives us time, gifts, and other resources according to our abilities. And he expects us to invest them wisely until his return. Amen. We are responsible, responsible to use well what God has given us. 
The issue is not how much we have, but how well we use what we have. Responsible people plan for the future. The parable of the talents describes the consequences of two attitudes to Christ's return. The person who diligently prepares for it by investing his time or her time and the talent to serve God will be rewarded. The person who has no heart for the work of the kingdom will be punished. God rewards faithfulness. Those who bear no fruit for God's kingdom cannot expect to be treated the same way those who are faithful. The parable of the talents issues four basic aspects of spiritual opportunity. The responsibility we receive, the reaction we have, the reckoning we face, and the reward we gain. The word of God gives us the accurate picture and tells us that the judgment of God will come in his way and in his own time. And that judgment will come to each of us individually. This is more important than that judgment that will come to the nations. The outcome of that judgment rests on the choice and the alternatives that God has placed before you. You have the gospel in front of you. In your heart is complete responsibility and God will hold you eternally accountable for your decision. You can cling to something that you have and ride it into the lake of fire. Or you can abandon the whole thing here and now and receive the righteousness of God in Christ and be carried by it into the presence of God forever. God's part we cannot do. Our part God will not do. If God writes opportunity on one side of the door, He writes responsibility on the other. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord for his word this morning. And now we'll be blessed with one more musical selection. And then we will have a word from the Lord. I pray that all hearts and minds are open to receive what thus saith the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. 